Have you ever wondered about the southernmost point of India, a place filled with verdant forests, exotic wildlife, and a history as rich as the land itself? This place is none other than Campbell Bay, nestled in the great Nicobar Tessil of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and home to the famous Indira Point. Campbell Bay, a village with over 1,600 households, boasts an impressive literacy rate of over 86%. But its true charm lies in its natural beauty and fascinating past. The Campbell Bay National Park, part of the Great Nicobar Biosphere Reserve, stretches over 426 square kilometers. This lush expanse hosts tropical evergreen forests, tree ferns and orchids, along with unique fauna such as the crab-eating macaque, giant robber crab, megapode and Nicobar pigeon. Then we have Indira Point, the southernmost point of India's territory. Named after former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, this village was previously known as Pygmalion Point and Parsons Point until its renaming in the mid-80s. A beacon of light in this remote location, the Indira Point Lighthouse, has been in service since the 30th of April 1972. Interestingly, Rondo Island, Indonesia's northernmost island, is a mere 145 kilometers from Indira Point. In fact, India and Indonesia are enhancing the deep sea port Sabang to safeguard the channel between Great Nicobar Island and Rondo Island. Reaching Campbell Bay from Port Blair is a journey in itself. Travelers can opt for a Pawanhans helicopter service or an inter-island boat that cruises through Little Andaman, Karnicobar and Nankauri en route to Campbell Bay. A weekly service MV Campbell Bay also operates from Port Blair's Phoenix Bay to Campbell Bay. The government is also constructing a 21-kilometer road from Shastri Nagar to Indira Point, crossing the Galathea River. This road, upon completion, will stretch to 56 kilometers from Zero Point to Indira Point, further enhancing the connectivity of this remote region. As we conclude, it's clear that Campbell Bay and Indira Point are not just geographical points on a map. They are a testament to India's rich biodiversity, historical legacy and strategic location, with their lush landscapes, unique wildlife and future developments. They truly represent a fascinating corner of the world.